As always is the case with every Porsche design update, subtle does it, and on the Macan, subtle they are. It still has the bulbous curves of a Porsche, but look closer and you will notice the revised bumpers at the front. The Tiger Claw air vents are conjoined now, with a body-colored panel and you have a new grille and new LED headlamps as well. The lovely clam shell bonnet remains though. Over to the side, the 19-inch wheels and coupe-like design make it instantly recognizable as a Macan. And for the connoisseurs out there, there is a new 3D pattern on the black panel low down. The rear continues to flaunt the long LED light bar and chunky exhausts that aren't just for aesthetics. Overall, it is a Macan all right, and the compact dimensions are one of reasons it handles the way it does. The Macan, in its entry-level guise, gets a 2.0-liter turbo petrol engine making 265 horsepower. It is essentially the same engine as the one in the Audi Q5, but you need not frown just yet. Porsche has tweaked it to be more. Porsche. It churns out 20 horsepower more than before, but more importantly, the engine has a distinct character and a lot more enthusiasm. There is a sense of eagerness as you accelerate off the line, but it is also linear all the way up to its 6,800 revolutions per minute redline. Ambling about in the city feels relaxed and effortless but in a location like Gott, it fully wakes up and comes into its own. Engage. Sport. Mode and the enthusiasm is further heightened with sharper responses from the engine and gearbox. What the sport mode also does is open up the valves in the exhaust for a raspy exhaust note with some pops and crackles. Power is transmitted to all four wheels via a 7-speed PDK gearbox, which is superbly calibrated. The gear ratios are well spaced out, The refreshed Macan gets a new interior now, and one that is devoid of the array of buttons we saw earlier. The center console gets a large touch panel with haptic buttons for most of the controls, but the HVAC settings still get dedicated buttons which are very smart, and very Porsche. They just think about all that. The touchscreen too is bigger at 10.9 inches, which also is a lot better in resolution, but it only supports Apple CarPlay and also misses out on wireless CarPlay and wireless charging. But thankfully, the one thing they didn't fiddle around with is the instrument cluster. The big analog tachometer in the center along with the speedo on the left is just so reminiscent of the classic Porsches. There is, of course, a nice color mid-screen on the right which is quite informative, and it also has a tasteful clock on top of the dashboard where the lap timer usually is. The upholstery is standard as all black, but you can choose the beige and black for a few extra thousands. Also in the options list is the panoramic sunroof which costs an extra 1.67 lakh rupees, and sadly there is no option of ventilated seats for the entry-level Mackin. 